This thing looks so much heavier than it was. Cruise control. That's nice. Burn your leg yet? Me? Yep. No, not yet. Did you? Yeah, I did on this thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I'm used to my uh my bike has an exhaust that comes up right here. So I'm used to sticking my leg out. So maybe that's why. <laughs> this would be fun though. That would be a lot of the seat height on this one's 25 inches, somebody told me. Yeah, I, uh and that one's 26, so. Really? Yeah, that's what they said. Wow. Well, I was they, able... Actually this one says it's 26. I was able to get both feet on the ground on the stops and, and just relax. Yeah. On my bike I have to kind of get on tiptoes. And you know I almost have to do it on that thing. Oh, that thing, I probably wouldn't, I'd have to but park you, next to the uh, curb and put my foot on the curb. <laughs> All right, trying out the vintage. Uh, this bike is, is a lot heavier. I think it's an 800 pound bike and the seat height is a little different. It's a little higher. Um, this is the, like I said, it's the Indian Chief uh, vintage. I'm excited. First time ever riding a, a bike with a windscreen on. So that's going to be a little different. Uh, the controls are a little different. Uh, it looks like I have cruise control. And and the hazard lights are on this side. And then the rest of the controls are pretty much the same on this side. Um, so the only thing you really need to focus on this is just turning it on. If you're on the highway, you can do cruise control, obviously. And then left and right on this side. It is a much bigger bike. Um, I noticed that I'm my arms are more extended. Sorry, my nose is like really itchy. Uh, my arms are more extended. Um, it's a little higher off the ground, like I said. That's a huge front brake, or that's a huge rear brake. Didn't, didn't just notice that. Uh, it's got footrest, which is nice. We'll see, we'll check this out. All right, once again, left goes first, middle, then right. And I'm just gonna check it out. I just wanted to ride this bike because I've never ridden a bigger bike. So this will be a new experience. Let's see how this handles compared to uh, my Sportster. I am a little nervous. I will, I will say that, I am a little nervous. Foot controls are, I'm way too short. Oh my God, I'm having to reach quite quite far. Um, wow, the first thing I notice is the windscreen. This thing blocks all wind. I don't even hear it inside my helmet at all. Um, it is a heavier bike, I felt that going, I was a little nervous going to the, uh, the turn. Oh, that rear brake is, is a little awkward. It's like, it's like hitting the, the brake pedal in a car. Oh, turning it. I gotta get used to that. I gotta get used to turning that thing. Uh, I took a really wide turn. All right, I'll practice that on this next turn up here, going on the interstate. Yeah, I have to reach quite, quite far to do the shift, um, and that's just me because I'm a short person and and uh, my legs are are somewhat short. But the thing is, it's doable. It's extremely doable. Um, this thing is amazing for long distance, I'm sure. I feel so comfortable on it. If I had to do a long distance ride, I'd probably do it on this. This thing is comfy. Um, and that, right now I'm riding in town, so let's find out what it's like on the interstate when we hit, you know, 70. Let's see how it handles there. This thing is powerful though. I think I'm in second gear and it just feels like it wants to go. I think I got a little more throttle response um, on the Scout than, uh, than I have here on the uh, Vintage, but, but it's pretty, I have little cops, but it's, it's pretty nice, it's, it's very comfortable.
This one is, uh, I don't know if it's the bike itself, but this thing does not want to go into neutral. At least I'm not used to it. the hang of it um, I gotta let out the clutch a little bit for it to go out of neutral or to go into neutral it's all a little uh, idiosyncrasies of, of bikes you got to find out everything um, I am noticing my right leg is starting to warm up quite a bit um, so it, it get, gets a little warm uh, once again I was reaching for the uh, right turn signal all right let's see how this turns open this shit up. Oh. Is this thing six speed? I think it is. I got up to highway speeds probably in third or fourth. Uh, braking's really smooth. This thing is extremely comfy with with the uh, highway winds. I feel no sway, and I think that it has to do with the uh, with the uh, the weight. And I was dodging that piece of tire on the on the road, uh, a little slalom type thing. And I, it was easy. It felt felt comfortable just doing that really quick. The suspension feels great. I didn't feel any of those bumps. Still recording. I've never done a demo event before, so it's it's really nice to be able to ride a lot of different bikes and choose which one you kind of you kind of like and what you uh, gravitate towards, so that when you want to buy a bike, you kind of have a better understanding. Um, Is that there's a lot of different types of people here there's first-time riders I heard that they uh, someone put a down payment on a scout and she she doesn't ride very often and she hasn't rode in a very long time and she looked kind of shaky and everything she just loved the bike and she put a, da uh, a down payment and deposit on it um, and then there's old young um, women riding men obviously riding uh, there's people with passengers like up ahead, uh, three three motorcycles up. There's a guy with a passenger, and there's another one at the, the third in line. Um, so they're, they're bringing everybody. There's a bunch of different types of people. Uh, people coming from Harleys, coming from uh, Victories. Um, I saw a few BMW Adventure Touring bikes. 
Uh, well, that's really good braking. Just within this short ride, I was able to get used to the forward controls on this bike. I know at the very beginning I mentioned that uh, I was having difficulty because it's so far up, but I'm already used to it. I got I got used to it. It's not. It doesn't feel far away at all. Uh, and on this bike, it also does. Uh, right now, I have the right turn signal, but it's showing left and right. To me, that just shows me that I, I, it's like I have my hazards on, and I'm just unsure of, of if it's not doing the hazards or not. So. I wish I wish they, uh, there was two LEDs and you're able to uh, differentiate between left and right turn signals. Yeah, I've already got all the, I've got the feel for the bike already, just in the short ride. I think I'm going on 15 minutes right now on the GoPro. Yeah, 16 minutes. Uh, the ride was probably only 10. I was recording quite a bit beforehand. So this demo event is going on this whole weekend. Uh, I'm on the tail end, so today's the last day, but I'm here at the uh, Indian Motorcycle Tucson and Indian Motorcycles brought this huge demo uh, truck with a bunch of bikes and everyone's been riding. So far, I've only heard great things about all these bikes. So if you're ever in Tucson, just swing by and then talk to Matt Allen and he'll uh, give you a little heads up on these bikes.